Hello and welcome to SNR Tech Bytes. I wanted to provide a little Iron Man update. I printed the shoulder pieces and they turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I do need to do quite a bit of sanding, but I'm going to kind of wait till the end to do all the sanding and make sure everything turned out okay. But what I wanted to discuss today is how I actually bond prints that I had to slice apart. So this piece, as you can see, will just bond together right here. But there's a bunch of different ways to do this. A lot of people have different ways of doing it. Um, this is just the way I do it. I'm not saying it's the best or the only option out there, but it's just what I end up doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sanding block and I'm going to use it mostly just to deburr the edges. I'm going to sand at an angle on all the corners. Not too much, but just kind of get it a little bit smoother. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's mostly to remove any burrs or pieces of plastic that just shouldn't be there. Clean that up, just kind of wipe any residue away. All right, the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some blue painter's tape and I'm gonna tape the front side together. So I'm gonna put the blue painter's tape hanging off, but halfway down. I'm gonna kind of make sure it adheres well. And then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna make sure that it lines up well with the two parts, and then I'm going to use my fingers on the back side and just gently slide them over to kind of stick it together. Make sure I get a really good bond, just make sure all that tape sticks together. Okay, so after I have the front of the part taped together, I'm going to use the table to put a little bit of flex in the seam and add just a little bit of tension across that seam. I'm going to use a small piece of tape right on the center but leaving the upper and lower edge exposed. This should do a pretty good job of keeping that seam held together well. Make sure that it's level and flush on the top and bottom, and make sure that uh, the seam itself is flush as well. Now what I'm actually going to use to bond this is a 3D printing pen. I've got this little, I don't know how to say that, but there you go bought it off of Amazon. It was maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, I set it to ABS. I like my PLA hot. It does better for bonding parts like this. And if there's any welders watching this video, you'll hopefully recognize this method, although I'm a terrible welder. So we'll see if it turns out or not. Okay, now that the uh, 3D printed pen is heated, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to kind of do that same method where I apply a little bit of force and I'm going to do my best to keep the seams as level as possible. Now one of the things I love about these silicone mats is they don't get burned very easily, so if you have a little bit of extra leakage coming out of the pen, you can just wipe it on the silicone pad. And then I'm going to very carefully act as if I'm welding the seam. So I'll do the top where the tape is not, and then I'm also going to do the bottom. Okay, we'll let that cool off. Now that should be a pretty strong seam. So I can pull the tape off on the back side. And then I'm going to do the same thing down the entire length of the seam. Notice I'm actually pushing the tip into the plastic in front of where I'm putting a bead of the melted plastic from the pen itself. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to pre-melt the plastic so it creates a really strong bond. Okay, now that we've let that cool for a while, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with the sanding block again, and we're just going to kind of knock down the burrs and the edges. This is the inside of the armor, so we don't really care how good it looks. We just want it to be comfortable. Okay, that feels good. If you don't like the seam, you can actually get in here with a razor and cut it off a little bit. I don't typically bother with this unless there's a piece that's raised a little bit too much. 
cool, now that's actually going to be a really strong seam if the armor is folding this way, back away from, from the seam. But if you fold the armor this way, it'll actually snap this pretty easy. So we do need to bond the other side. What I'm going to do to put this front seam together, because this is the actual piece of the armor that's going to be seen and, and shown, so it needs to be sanded well and flat and painted over, and we don't want that ridge sitting in the middle. So what I use is this really cool product called 3D Gloop. This is the PLA version, and what that means is there's actually some PLA dissolved inside of here, and it's the right chemicals to, to, to melt PLA. They have other types as well, like PETG and ABS, that again have either PETG or ABS dissolved inside of the chemicals made to actually melt the plastic. But this does a really good chemical bond, so it actually will physically melt the PLA around the weld area and then just pause it a little bit of PLA because of this as well. Now, PLA is very chemical resistant, and there's only a handful of things that can dissolve it. Because of that, this stuff is really nasty, so I really recommend using gloves. The active chemical in this is a solvent as well, so you should do this in a well-ventilated room. Shake it up a little bit. Make sure it's cool. Uh, I live in Arizona. I have left this in my garage before by mistake, and I went to open it, and it literally exploded. So keep it inside somewhere cool, somewhere dark, so it doesn't explode everywhere. Now inside, it's a little bit of a paintbrush. I like to kind of clean off the paintbrush a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to paint right down the seam in as thin of a stripe as I can, but using pretty decent amount of this stuff. Uh, I want it to be a pretty healthy application. Get into the nooks and crannies. Now we're just going to let that dry and then we'll come over the top of it with a light sanding for now and then when I come through and actually sand the entire suit of armor to get it prepared for painting I will make sure that I get that seam well but make sure the seam actually does stay sealed. The reason you want to do a healthy application is you really want a lot of that solvent to leak down into the crack to make the seal underneath this area. Now a lot of people don't know the proper way to take off gloves. The way that I was taught when I was a lifeguard many years ago is to pinch one glove right at the seam and slide and roll it so you don't get any chemical on your hand. And then you're going to pull it all the way into your other hand. You're going to take two fingers and you're going to slip it right under the cuff of the glove and you're going to pull your hand out from underneath. And then you can grab back here now that the glove is inside out, pull out. And then if you did get any solvent on your hands, on your gloves, you're not going to get any in your hands because, speaking from experience, this stuff can cause some pretty significant skin irritation.